141 pounders. Mark Wentz, the sophomore redshirt from Kent State, he's 13 and four this year, and he's gotta be a heavy favorite in this bout. As he's going up against a true freshman, Matt DiPolo, just three and six this year at Cleveland State, state champ last year at Bellevue High School. And again, what we talked during the true freshman, that first year is so important. This will be very interesting how DiPolo comes out and what he's able to establish here. DiPolo from Bellevue High School. Wentz, of course, wrestled for Streetsboro. Wentz seems to be looking for the big throw here, right to, right to the back. Think about the Mansueto boys at DePolo. They have great workout partners with assistant coaches there at Cleveland State. Bad shot by DePolo. I guess yeah, that was the obvious. And he now trails 2-0. Again, freshman mistake was doing fine with what he was doing and got over anxious. Doing a nice job here. He's got to pop his hips. Sit back, pop his hips up and over. Polo needs a point here. Oh, nice power by Lentz. Looking for back points. He shoots a half in there. No, he likes to stay back on the legs. And he'll lead 2-0 at the end of the first period. Polo also a fine baseball player. Hit 310 his senior year at Bellevue, all league player. But wrestling is obviously his real his real strength. Four year letterman. Nice little ran to be there. A little too slow. Yeah. <laughs> Went so, racking up a lot of riding time. It's great to see wrestlers do other sports just besides wrestling. And the escape makes it 2 1. Wentz again controlling the tie up. Nice little duck under there. And that makes it 4-1. Great level change in that duck under. Wentz looked for a little bit more there, but he has been real super aggressive and looking for back points right at the time. Maybe he's wearing the polo down. He's clearly the stronger of the two. I think he's just pacing himself through here. He's doing a nice job. period ends with Wentz dominating in a 4-1 to one lead with 2 minutes and 20 seconds extra riding time. Polo now in the top position. This would be interesting too. Uh, do you ride him? You take away the, the riding time or kick him out and try to make up some points there? Well, in college wrestling, it's obviously very hard to, to turn somebody unless you catch them in transition. They're just so strong. You're right. Unless you're a phenomenal top rider, there's sometimes very few of those anymore. Gene Mills, uh, Mike Sheets from Oklahoma State. Scoring from the top. Mitch, Mitch. Oh, got the cradle. He sat in. Oh, he reversed it. Oh, what a combination. Oh. <laughs> And it makes it 6-1, and the same makes it 6-2. Crowd really into it now. That was a great combination by both boys. You know, I'd say next year, Matt DiPolo gets that move. Oh, he throws! Trying 
Oh, boy, very close to the big move there. Very close. That makes it 8-2 and 8-3. And that's the way it's going to end with the riding point making it 9-3. Very fine match by both boys. Great effort by the freshman, DiPolo. And again, the dual meet stands tied at 12, and I think the 157s are starting to get nervous. <laughs> It'll come down to them more than likely. And there's your winner, Mark Wentz. The redshirt sophomore from